SNES Drunk. Hey, welcome back to SNES Drunk Plays, uh, Secret of, of Mana, and uh, we're going to head over to the blacksmith here, Watts, because we have orbs to use. Uh-oh. <laughs> okay. So I actually have to hold them? That's another clue, like, there's more to this kid than just blah, 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 whatever. And only I can do it. Okay, cool. So, uh, where are you going? What's going on? Oh, he made those disappear with an axe. That's cool. So, in the meantime, uh, we pay him to upgrade weapons. And as we see on the wheel of weapons here, we uh, select which one has an orb. And I think the only one right now is the spear. So we upgrade that to the heavy spear, and in the meantime, let us um, go over here and buy stuff. So I think there's some, uh, now that I have the sprite, I want to make sure that I have everything for him. I honestly don't know if I do or not. Can't hurt to have a chain vest, or a rabbit cap. Oops. I always do that. I hate that B is the action button for this game, and it's cancel for everything else. Um, let's get the uh, axe on him for now, I guess. Wait, what happened? Let's do the spear. There we go. And we have to remember to uh, equip everything to make sure... Uh, yeah, he can. Yeah, he can do the chain vest. That's a. It's better. Elbow pad. He cannot do. So whatever. That's fine. I don't have any money. I think for anything else. So let's sell our excess stuff. We want to keep the hair ribbon because Penny's going to be coming back. Anyway, yeah, I named. Uh, I think doesn't everyone when they play this game, or really when they play any RPG, they always name at least one of the characters after a pet. So, it's easy. Yeah, we gotta adjust this, too. So he actually is useful as a computer AI thing. Um, not only is it fun to uh, name an RPG character after a pet, but it's fun to, in this case, with a dog, it's fun to imagine all the dialogue he says in a ridiculous dog voice. And believe me, I have the most ridiculous dog voice of all time. Hey, it's Nico. What overexpensive crap do you have for sale? Anything useful? But yeah, I'm almost I, I'm too embarrassed to do it on a uh, on a on a on a video that could be watched by dozens of people. There's dozens of us. Dozens. So let us move on to I guess the haunted forest. We have to politely ask the witch to let us into the underground palace or whatever. We, we need to... Somehow we need to defeat her to get to the palace. And In the meantime, we get to level up against these bee skeletons. <laughs> so yeah, my dog voice, I'm, I'm probably too embarrassed. I'm not drunk enough yet to, to do it. Oh, what the hell. Hey, Clay. Wow, there's a clay dog. There's the boy. What are you doing? He's sleeping. Yeah, he's sleeping dog. Pretty stupid. See what I do for you people? All, all 12 of you. Make me look like an ass by doing a ridiculous dog voice on YouTube. <laughs> there we go. See, we're leveling up already. That, that dog is leveling up. Um, What are you going to do with those levels, dog? Um, anyway, see, I've been listening to the new Faith No More, and it's really good, and that's really surprising to me. Faith No More, obviously, if you're not familiar with them, uh, they're a band that started all the way back in 1982, um, with the singer Chuck Mosley. Chuck Mosley was a druggie and had to leave. They were replaced by the, uh, the great Mike Patton, um, even though I like Chuck a lot. Um, Mike Patton's a kind of a, one of those like otherworldly talents um, that's just 
a freak, basically. Like, Roddy Bottom, the um, keyboardist in Faith No More, describes him as uh, lungs on legs. Just a, just a pair of lungs on legs. And that's essentially what he is. The guy's a freak. But um, their album is really good. And that got me thinking, like... Um, oh, that, I should mention that, yeah, they, they went away. They, they haven't recorded new music in, like, 15 years. Or more than that, like, 18 years since, like, 1997. And... Uh, just got me thinking, like, following music in real time, like it's sports. Hey, Nico's here. Good for her. Um, following music in real time, like it's sports, like waiting for new albums. Like, I had no idea this album was happening until, like, a month ago, or at least, like, six weeks ago. And it made me realize, oh, what do we got here? She is um, doing kung fu moves by herself with these two uh, tiger things. These guys are hard. And they're a big pain in the ass. Because they cure themselves, and they get you in damage traps where you, you cannot move. Oh, see, my charge attack was wasted. Clyde's dead. Damn it. Clyde sees the Reaper. See, you get stuck, and there's just nothing you can do. You're just stuck, and you have to get the hell out of there. Ugh. Anyway, yeah, following music in real time, like, you had no choice but to do that. Back in the 90s, you just listen to the radio and uh, hope your favorite bands... Um, oh, pff, oh, gee, thanks. Uh, hope your favorite bands were coming out with something new. Now, in this day and age with the internet, it's like... I can find whatever I like. I need to heal up here badly. Get some candy. Um, like, I don't listen to the radio anymore, and I don't... It's like it's following music in real time like it's baseball or like, you know, checking the scores every day, checking the box scores and like, oh, I better check Pitchfork to see what's coming out. It's like there's decades, like there's over 50 years of written and recorded music that's considered, you know, like rock music, you know, not to mention all the all the fucking classical music that's available in abundance out there. And there's all sorts of bands that are made available now. Uh, through the magic of the internet, through whether it be file sharing, whether it be YouTube or what. So it seems utterly pointless to be like, to follow music in real time and like, what's the best album of 2015? It's like, who cares? Why is that important when I can find the best albums that I personally like at any year going all the way back to the fucking 50s? Like, it just seems like, I don't understand why people do that and what's, what the appeal is. It's like, and it, Faith No More made me think of that because it's like if this were back when they were in their prime, back in the 90s or late 80s, um, it would be. She still has everything equipped, which is kind of strange, but whatever. Um, it would be like that. That would be all I'd have. All I'd have to work with was uh, just uh, like, yeah. I just have to hope they come out with something new and hope the radio plays it often or hope MTV plays it often. Let's switch to. Uh, the girl. You always want to have a projectile weapon, or at least a distance weapon like the whip, uh, equipped to uh, one of these people. And uh, somehow me killing the thing allowed me to... Uh, mush uh, the girl killing the mushroom allowed Drunk to up his sword tech. As if that makes sense somehow. Anyway. What was I rambling about? Oh yeah. Following music in real time is dumb. I also can't stand when people like Billy Corgan, who is evidently obsessed with their own place in music history. Like, I read something the other day um, about, like, yeah, me and Kurt Cobain were good competitors. Like, no! Music is not a freaking game. It's not a contest. Get over yourself. Ugh. Some people just, they're, they're wired that way. Like, everything, like, there's a lot of music writers out there that see, like, Chuck Klosterman's one example. Where I cannot stand that guy, where he's tries to shoehorn everything into, like, a this context of a competition. Does the axe work on these? Can I get past here? No. Hmm. Or everything, like, some music writers have to justify their, their job title by, like, creating... 
is it the best album of of this year or is it the the greatest post-punk thing of it's like ugh. wait a second didn't i just come from here Oh, it unlocked the thing. I got so lo ra locked up in my own, or uh, so wound up in my own rambling, I forgot what I was doing. That'll happen. Well, let's continue this next time. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.